Okay, in this video, we are going to look into SR flip-flops, that set, reset flip-flops, and how to design an SR flip-flop circuit. Now normally when we want to add an SR flip-flop to our circuit, we could use a cross-coupled NAND gate, which is negative edge triggered, or we could use a cross-coupled NOR gate, which is positive edge triggered. Now if we don't have a NAND gate or a NOR gate on our circuit board, and we don't want to add another IC, but we have two spare inverters, then we could actually make an SR flip-flop out of two inverters. So in this video, we're going to look how we could actually design an SR flip-flop using two inverters. Okay, here's a schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. And I'm using a CD4069 inverter IC. And I'm using two inverters to build an SR flip-flop. So the two inverters are cross-coupled using two pull-up resistors and the Q output is connected to an LED and the Q naught output is open circuit but you could hook up an LED to the Q naught to indicate the complement of Q. Now the two inputs to the SR flip-flop have weak pull-down resistors and I have two isolation diodes on the reset and set line. Now if we pulse the reset line with a positive going pulse Q output will go low, and if we pulse the set line with a positive going pulse, Q output will go high. Okay, here's my SR flip-flop using two inverters. And I have a jumper wire connected to VCC. Now if I pulse my set line with a positive going pulse, you see Q output goes high. And if I pulse my reset line with a positive going pulse, Q goes low. So here's my set and reset pulses. Now if we want to make a negative going trigger SR flip-flop. All we have to do is reverse the two diodes and change the pull-down resistors to pull-up resistors. Okay, I reversed the two diodes on my circuit board and I replaced the weak pull-down resistors with weak pull-up resistors. And I have a jumper cable connected to ground. So now my SR flip-flop is a negative triggered flip-flop. So now if I trigger my set line with a negative going pulse, my Q comes on. And if I pulse my reset line with a negative going pulse, my Q goes off. So now I have a negative triggered flip-flop by just modifying the circuit by reversing the two diodes and changing the pull-down resistors. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of my negative edge triggered SR flip-flop. And all I've done is reverse the two diodes on the set and reset lines and change the weak pull-down resistors to weak pull-up resistors, the VCC. So now when we apply a negative going pulse to the set line, Q will go high. And if we apply a negative going pulse to the reset line, Q will go low. Now we could go further by adding a push-button switch to the input of the SR flip-flop and we got ourselves a contact bounce eliminator and you can see on the scope that the positive edge and the negative edge are clean. Okay, the resistor values of this circuit are not that critical but you have to be aware of the source that's driving a set and reset lines. It could be the output of a logic gate, an op amp, a transistor, or a microcontroller. So the load on the source that's driving our set and reset lines will be the diode 1.5 Mega ohm resistor and 100 k ohm resistor when this point is at ground level. So the total load will look like this to our source. So it's about 100 k ohms. Our impedance would be about 100 k ohms. So if you have a circuit that's that could drive 100 k ohms, then it'd be no problem. If not, you could just uh, increase the value of these two resistors. So that's our simple SR flip flop using two inverters, and it demonstrates how we could do more with less.